My magnificent ultimate time machine is ready. Let's travel back in time and solve Grandma's mystery. We need to get back to Jerusalem, to the early years of Jesus' life, to figure out these riddles. Are you looking for someone? Yes, young man, we are looking for our son. This is Max, and he is looking for Yeshua. Would you be able to help me? I left the gate open for just one second. Let's catch some lambs. What was that? People of Jerusalem, what do you want me to do with this man you say is king of the Jews? Well, joining us all the way from Norway via Skype is the art director for the game Gate Zero, Meta Johnson. Meta, welcome, and thank you so much for being with us today all the way from Norway. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Well, we just watched the trailer for Gate Zero, and I have to say I'm very impressed by the visuals and everything like that, but where did the idea to create a game like this even come from? Well, I'm going to give you the very short version of it. And uh, in, in my work, we've uh, had uh, many years of experience of making uh, Christian content for youth, basically films and animations and live events. And it was uh, in 2020, we were doing a live event for Easter for 5,000 youth. And we made this interactive model of the second temple that we were going to use in the live show for them to connect to the temple and understand the significance that it has to a, a Christian person. And uh, of course, COVID came. So three weeks before this live event, everything was canceled. And uh, so we found ourselves in a situation where we suddenly had time and resources. And we thought we'd need to make uh, something good happen out of this. And uh, taking that 3D model and doing something that we'd been dreaming about for a long time, but not having the time and resources to, and that was making a video game about the Bible. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. I feel like so many awesome projects have come out of the crisis that the pandemic created. But creating a game like this looks incredibly complex. How much research and work actually went into making this project? Uh, a lot of research. Uh, we knew from the start that we wanted to make this game true to the Bible and also historical and uh, cultural accurate. And so we did weeks and months of research, especially in the in the concept phase. And we're still doing it every single day because everything that we produce uh, from the script writing and also to how things look in the game, we make sure it's as accurate as possible. And we consult with historians and archaeologists and biblical scholars that we have on our team every single day. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. Well, more than 3 billion, I'm going to say that again, more than 3 billion people are actively playing video games in our world today. And a lot of games out there are pretty destructive because of violence and, and language and that sort of thing. Why is a game like, like Gate Zero so important? Well, you said it, the 3 billion people. We want to reach them uh, with Jesus and bring Jesus to them. And like you, you said previously with the, the previous guest, like this is just a different way of doing missionary work, mm. really. And by making Gate Zero, uh, we use the most impactful medium in the world, gaming. Yeah. Uh, and then we give them the most ex like revolutionary message that's ever told, Jesus' story. So we give the younger generation um, access to the Bible. I love that. I love that. And it really is a form of evangelism and, and bringing the gospel to life, specifically this game. Um, and obviously the stats say that uh, less and less teens are reading the Bible these days. How do you think this game could encourage them to pick up a Bible? Yeah, that's just it. Um, this game is not a substitute for the Bible, but like we spoke to a youth ministry worker the other day and he said, Gezio might actually be the only Bible some people read. And especially for the younger generation, um, they we believe that they want to get to know Jesus, but it's really hard and challenging in these times to pick up a Bible and read it. So we believe by playing the game, uh, they get to know the stories, they get to interact with people and connect to it. And... Um, 
also understanding the message that Jesus came with so that it I understand like the importance that it has for their personal life. And, and then that will also make it easier for them to pick up the Bible. So our hope is that by playing the game, it will also encourage them to pick up the Bible and dig deeper into the Gospels. Yeah, I absolutely love that. It's not a substitute for the Bible, but it's hopefully something that will lead them to get into the Word of God. Well, I also have another question. Yeah. How have you seen God move since you and your team started Gate Zero, whether it's moving in your own individual lives or moving in the lives of individuals who have maybe had a chance to see this game and play it? Well, um, it's been incredible from the beginning, actually. And uh, we are dependent on having God with us in this project because uh, like, we can just see it like from the beginning. We started out as a very small team uh, and uh, only, the th only three of us started out. And um, wow. we were sitting in our office in Oslo and we didn't really know where to start. And uh, we certainly did not know how much work that we needed to put into it, but we did know that we wanted to make this game and that we needed to make it. And... Um, uh, even though the, uh, the past years have been extremely uh, challenging in some ways, we've also had some extraordinary experiences. And uh, thousands of people have reached out to us, um, expressing how they feel about the game, how, they, how grateful they are that we're making it, and also wanting to help out, wanting to contribute. Um, and God has put the right people in at the right time for us, time over time. And even now, our Kickstarter just launched, and people are contributing. They just want to make this game happen. And we feel like God is with us in everything. And we are just excited to see what he's going to move for us in the future. Wow. I'm so excited to see that as well. That's that's amazing. Well, moving forward, uh, what is the big picture goal for this game? And what do you guys as a team hope to achieve? Yeah, we want to make the Bible accessible for the younger generation. That's like our bottom line wow. goal for this thing. But we also want it to be a tool for youth ministry workers, uh, something that they realize that they need to have to work with the younger generation, something they need to offer, uh, maybe create a social event with it. And we hope that every Christian home also wants to have this game so they can play it with your family, you can play it with your friends, and then you can have a social setting where you can, ha uh, it can provide a basis for some deep and good conversations about the Bible and the gospel. So... We live in a world where sin and, and selfishness is normalized almost. And um, uh, we have a responsibility of bringing the Christian worldview to the younger generation and to getting them closer to God. And we, we believe that um, our, our plan is to make all the stories of the gospel um, and uh, we'll see how the Kickstarter goes and uh, how fast you can get there because this game, this will make, we will make it. Wow, absolutely. Well, Meta, thank you so much for talking with me today. Again, all the way from Norway, I appreciate you. And thank you so much. And I wish you guys all of the best uh, for any of future endeavors. And I just really believe that this game is, is going to make an impact on the next generation. So thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, guys. Well, if you would like to find out more info on the latest project uh, of this video game, make sure you visit our website at 700clubinteractive.com. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.